Previously, we made a series on using Laravel with Sanctum API authentication and WebSockets using Vue. But for SP authentication, there was an issue reported on the GitHub. So we're making this video as a follow up on how to accomplish the same setup but with Sanctum's SPA that is session or cookie way of doing things. Firstly, I'll create a fresh Laravel project in the terminal with Composer. Increase the font size so we can all see what's going on. Wait for it to finish. Let's see the application in action with starting the server. Looking good. Require the Laravel UI package so that we have the basic auth functionality in place and don't have to write a lot of code. Then generate the authentication scaffolding with PHP artisan the old way. Then also require Laravel Sanctum with Composer. We'll publish the migrations and config to our app from the vendor to tweak it on our own ways. I'll run the migrations but MySQL server isn't up, so I'll retry it again after I restart MySQL server. I'll edit my .env to my requirements and try the migration. No worries about the migrate refresh. I had used the database from earlier test runs, so the first error is related to that.
quickly open kernel.php and add the API configurations from Sanctum. Edit the session driver to be cookie because we'll be using this with Sanctum's SPA authentication. A thing to note is the stateful domains whitelist in Sanctum. So only the listed domains are allowed to have the cookies and session from the front end. So let's add it to .env and add localhost 8080 and 127.0.0.1 8080 as needed later in our view CLI app. Then we'll be creating a mock user for later using the artisan. Quick and easy. In the api.php, we'll replace the middleware from API to use Sanctum middleware for our user's root ladder. In the course config, We'll for this series add backslash asterisk to the paths and true to the support credentials keys. Now We'll add the WebSockets package from beyond code but currently the issue of versions arises and I had a little trouble fixing this up for Laravel 8. But we'll continue from here on from the next video which will be released in couple of days. Keep the notifications on because the part after the basic setup is really interesting since most of the Laravel users have a lot of trouble getting this part right. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I'll catch you guys in the next one.